weather coverage you can count on. So let's talk more about it. Chief Meteorologist Aaron White joins us once again. And Aaron, now there were a lot of beautiful colors yeah. this fall, but we had some of that wind and some of the leaves that have really blown off the trees. Yeah, unfortunately, and comparing it to like last uh, year, we had some brilliant fall colors already in September. It took a little bit longer to get it here, and then we got the wind, and a lot of it has now ended up on the ground, unfortunately, but there is still some color out there. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, you can still check it out here the next couple of days, but we are getting closer to the past peak. We're already seeing that in northern Minnesota, all of North Dakota and northern Wisconsin, and it's getting closer to here, so probably maybe a few more days of really enjoying the nice colors and a lot of the leaves are already on the ground, so probably raking here as we go through the next several days. And we got some nice weather if you have to rake here tomorrow. Some clouds in the morning, a little bit more sunshine here for the afternoon. And we are also tracking the chance for some rain showers here through the morning hours ending about 10 a.m. So window about 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. for a couple of rain showers. Best chance is going to be across Iowa. Less of a chance here in southern Minnesota. And then we're talking about cooler weather here for Wednesday before we got another chance of rain here by Thursday into Thursday night, so we'll be watching that. Unfortunately, not looking like a lot of rain, but hey, we'll take some moisture any way we can get it, at least at this point, and hopefully we get some more chances, which we do have those as we look ahead to the 10-day forecast. But right now, it's dry out there. It's warm as well. 74 in Rochester, 79 and now release 75 in Mason City with uh, some clouds starting to roll in ahead of our next system that will bring that chance here for tomorrow morning. Otherwise, it's just warm. All of us are into the 70s right now, and we're not going to cool down much at all here through tonight and into tomorrow. Thanks in part to the south winds keeping us on the warmer side here as we go through tonight. And also happening tonight, we have the Orionid meteor shower that peaks here uh, to, uh, yesterday and today. And you may actually see 10 to 20 meteors per hour as we are at the peak of the meteor shower. Chance of that going to be happening here this evening before more clouds really roll in here for tonight, but it is going to continue here for the next couple of weeks, so you'll still have a chance if you want to check that out. Well, looking at our forecast here, we got the clouds again rolling in. A few breaks in the clouds if you want to check out the meteor shower. You may be able to see at least a few of them here this evening before more clouds roll in late tonight. And there's that chance for some rain showers here for tomorrow morning. That clears out. We'll get a little bit of sunshine here, and it will be Another warm one here for tomorrow. 54 for tonight, mostly cloudy skies. Chance for a couple rain showers late. A few rain showers here tomorrow morning. Otherwise, mostly cloudy and a high near 72. So a little bit cooler, but hey, it's still warm for this time of year. We're back to the 50s though on Wednesday. 65 with a chance of rain showers here on Thursday. And right now the weekend looking cooler, but still pretty nice.